Today I want to talk to you guys about Nemo slide pucks and just slide pucks in general. So generally slide pucks come in like a lot of different shapes and sizes. They also come with different materials, but shape wise, it doesn't really matter whether it's hexagon or fuck, I don't know my shapes, but it doesn't really matter. But what's important are some things like a beveled edge and the materials that you use. But materials are generally the most important and there's a couple that you can choose from. You can choose from Delrin, Corian and UHMW. UHMW seems to be the most popular one. It's the most durable and the most hard wearing. It's also the most slippery. But not all UHMW is the same. Some is slidier than others. Others are a little bit more grippy. So there's going to be a bit of variance. But the other thing that's really important is a beveled edge. This just allows you to slide without worrying about your puck getting caught on anything. If you've been sliding long enough, chances are you've slid pucks that have a sharp edge and it's very likely that, your, that this edge has caught in a crack or on a stone or something and flung you off your board. So yeah, beveled edge is superior over a non-beveled edge. All that stuff just ensures that the puck is going to work well for me for a really long time. But let's talk oh, well. about Nemo skate products. So with Nemo, you get like a bunch of pretty awesome products that you can choose from. They have two different formulas. You have the race formula and the free ride formula, white and black. And you can choose between two different sizes. You have skinny pucks and wide pucks. Generally speaking, the wide pucks are grippier than the skinnier pucks. And the race pucks are much more slidier than the free ride pucks, but not that much more slidey, just a little bit more slidey. In terms of durability, like they're pretty durable, man, but they're not insanely durable. But because they're so tall as well, you have so much of the puck to go through that you don't really worry about it for a long time. Another thing I really like is that they have these puck risers as well that are fairly cheap and work well and are lightweight and don't reflect a bunch of road vibration or feel really weird. So I really like that as well. But my biggest beef with Nemo pucks is that the beveled edge doesn't last long enough and you don't actually have like two beveled edges to work with. So on some pucks like the Ojums, right, you can, once you've gone through the beveled edge on the top, you can then flip your truck, flip the Velcro and use uh, the beveled edge on the other side. Nemo has a bit of that, but not as much as I'd like. I'd much prefer the beveled edge to go much further. If that meant like sacrificing less surface area at the top, I don't mind, but you know, and even even to the credit with the beveled edge gone, like they still don't grab on stuff that easily. They're still quite slidey, but the performance of the beveled edge, much, much better. But also that beveled edge issue is easily solved. Like if you just take your puck and like grind it against the ground a couple of times pretty hard, you can sort of start beveling the edge yourself to really get a way to do it. But in a pinch, it works pretty well and just bevel the edge yourself and do it as many times as you need and you'll have a pretty round edge and problem solved. I think you can do that pretty much all the way down uh, this. So I, I don't know. I guess that's pretty cool. But yeah, I mean, this video is focused on Nemo Pucks, but let me talk about other brands. So Ojum is actually like the perfect balance between slipping and gripping. And they're actually like fairly durable and they work well over a lot of different pavements. So the, if you can get your hands on them, they're like pretty Great, I think that the gold standard. The seismic pucks are amazing. They slide super easily, but they don't last that long at all. They're not durable. If you put a lot of weight on your hand, they're gonna like finish very, very quickly. And as well, they get to the beveled edge very quickly as well. So yeah, and another thing they're like super noisy. So yeah, sus pucks, sus pucks are actually pretty good. They had like a massive beveled edge but they're not insanely durable. Another thing I really don't like about them is that they're quite grippy. Like, I don't know, man, but they're, they're just not the best for me. I know on some pavements, like in Australia, they work super well. So yeah, that's just something to keep in mind. But yeah, I wish the beveled edge went for a little bit longer, but uh, yeah, and I think that's it.